It's 1 o'clock here on 90.3 KEXP Worldwide, KEXP.org. I'm Stevie Zoom here on this Father's Day Sunday afternoon. We are ready for some live music in our studios. We want to welcome back Jolie Holland. Jolie, thank you for coming back. Thank you for having me. Wine Dark Sea is the uh, brand new one. Talk about that in a little bit. Are you ready for a couple of songs? Show sure enough.
Live music here at KEXP. You're listening to Jolie Holland, music from the brand new release of hers, Wine Dark Sea, playing tonight at the Crocodile. Again, thanks so much for coming back on uh, this Sunday afternoon. Our pleasure. You, thanks for having us. You have a lot more folks with you than the last time. If you could uh, tell our listeners who's with you today. Um. Well, my pleasure. Um, we have two guitarists on this uh, old... Silvertone from the early '60s, the Adam Brisbane from from uh, Texas and lives in uh, New York City, and then over here on the Telecaster is uh, Indigo Street, who's from New York and lives in New York, and uh, on the drums Justin Veloso, who's from Oregon and lives in New York, and then Honey Baby on the bass Joffrey Muller from Houston lives in Houston. All right. Thank you all for being here. Again, Wine Dark Sea is the new album, which is uh, five, six albums you've done now. Well, I've done more than that, but not all of them, you know, came out or uh, or are released, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. Is there anything about this album, putting it together, or, or it coming about that is... Uh, did it kind of follow the same pattern as some of the recent albums, or was there something new of inspiration that uh, got this album going? Well, I've, I've been really interested in in a live performance in the studio for my entire recording career, but this is definitely the loudest band that I ever re- was able to record live presently. So most of the tracks are seven people playing all at the same time, including two drummers playing two drum kits on every single song and it's actually they're they're usually playing so seamlessly that you can't really tell that it's two drummers listening to the album yeah that's true i was you know with all the folks that are here with you this time I, that kind of leads me to what i was going to ask about it looked like you wanted to have more of a uh, a fuller sound to go along with these songs this time around at least project that live with these folks it's interesting. I actually had a really hard time getting any musicians to really do what I wanted them to do until I just threw them all in the swimming pool with the sharks. Like I just had to like make it really huge in order to get what I wanted because everybody was so like delicate, you know? Like there there's I've had two past musicians say stuff like Jolie likes it really quiet, you know, which is not true. That's why they're not in the band anymore. But <laughs> Yeah, and there was this one one uh, ex bandmate of ours. He told Indigo, he said, "The audience will hate you for every note you play." <laughs> I came in here <laughs> right before we start, and uh, I was told here the conversation that was going on between you and the band and our camera and video crew. There was a lot of uh, really good conversation going on, of course, and I came right at the end, so I missed it. So I think this is what it was about. It was talking about ex bandmates and stuff. I don't think so. Were we? I don't think we were maliciously gossiping oh, okay. at that point. Yeah. Now, um, the the balance of the the lyrics that you write and then putting the sound together and the different time signatures and everything that's still there. That it's that as a listener just hearing that voice of yours, but still putting together with a lot of different uh, you know different mus- musical influences and background. It's still there, and it's it's yeah. uh, it's really sharp to hear. There's just uh, it's just all that old stuff plus sharks. Sharks, yeah. that's what the key to the new recordings for everybody out there is sharks. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, I wanted to ask you. You've got one cover on here, Joe Tex. How did you come about this particular Joe Tex song? Well, one of my very dear friends, Carrie Lamprecht, is she just won some big uh, civil rights award from the ACLU. I forget what it was and. Our friend Boots Riley's father, Walter Riley, accepted a a civil rights award at the exact same time. And uh, Carrie is a bandmate of ours, and she's a civil rights worker. And she turned me on to that song. And it's a civil rights era love song that's so awesome. It's like, you know, I've seen some horrible stuff go down. I've been beaten up and, like, landed in the ditch. And then I had to apologize to the people for beating me up. You know, like... I've had horrible, horrible things happen to me, but honestly, the worst thing is how I see you people treating each other right now, so just stop it. 
So that's what that's what the song is about. Yeah. Had you heard much uh, Joe Tex prior to that? No, he was kind of more. He was always kind of on the soul charts. You know, he didn't he didn't like cross over and become this huge thing like James Brown did. It was he was definitely, you know, you wouldn't you wouldn't hear Joe Tex on uh, just any radio station. There were one or two a long time ago. But I'm a little bit older, so I remember hearing one or two on the radio. So. He had the chicken song, right? Yeah, and I got gotcha. you. So uh, yeah. there was a couple there that were there that uh, brought him to the attention of uh, radio listeners. Anyway, Wine Dark Sea is the new album. Sounding wonderful here. Are you ready for a couple more songs? Yeah. It's, uh, it's out on the Wine Dark Sea next, right? Okay.
It's live music here at 90.3 KEXP. You're listening to Jolie Holland. Again, playing tonight at the Crocodile. Jess Williamson is opening up. And then they'll be in Vancouver, B.C. tomorrow at the Biltmore. I think we got one more song coming up here. Jolie Holland live at 90.3 KEXP. Thank you so much. Thank you. I just wanted to note that that's a song by Tom Waits. Tom Waits, covering Tom Waits right there. Uh, Wine Dark Sea is the new album on the anti-label. 
label of Tom Waits, who I've read over the years is a great admirer of yours. Thank, thank goodness. <laughs> do you have any? Uh, do you have any contact with him from time to time? Oh, a lady never tells. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can leave it at that. Yeah. Uh, they're playing tonight at the Crocodile. And uh, I want to say thanks to, thanks to for everybody for being here, and a big thank you to our engineer, Julian. It's 90.3 KEXP Seattle.